In this episode, we discuss the meaning behind the color of our phlegm. Seasonal and weather changes often lead to respiratory ailments such as allergies, colds, and infections. Because these conditions present similar symptoms, people often ask, what should I do when these conditions are observed? Is there a way to tell these conditions apart? Yes, the answer comes straight off our noses and throats in our body's friend called mucus. Mucus is naturally found in various parts of the body. It acts as a lubricant to prevent our body tissues from drying and is considered a defense or filter against materials that can enter our airway. Examples of mucus are snot from your nose or phlegm in your chest. Snot or nasal mucus keeps your sinuses moist and blocks particles you inhale from entering your lungs. Phlegm is a type of mucus that our chest creates to prevent pathogens from entering our airways. Mucus is normally clear, thin, and unnoticeable. When we catch a cold, allergy, or flu, our body produces larger amounts of mucus that varies in color and texture. Different colors of mucus may indicate different kinds of health concerns. Deciphering this color code can help determine if we should see a doctor immediately or just let our immune system deal with it the natural way. In allergic rhinitis, mucus remains thin and clear despite a runny nose and constant sneezing. When we experience cough or colds, the mucus thickens into a cloudy white mucus that blocks our nasal passages or makes our throat scratchy. When the cough or cold persists, the mucus could change to yellow, a sign that our immune system is actively fighting off an infection. The yellow color is caused by white blood cells. Yellow mucus could turn green if it stayed in the lungs for a longer time, which may signal that the infection progresses into more severe conditions, such as sinusitis, bronchitis, pneumonia, or cystic fibrosis. The green color comes from a mix of immune cells, germs, and other debris that build up, making it thicker, stickier, and cloudier. Cuffing and sneezing can help the body get rid of excessive mucus, but there are medications available that can also help relieve these symptoms. A mucolytic like carbocysteine salmiux or carbocysteine plus zinc salmiux advance can help loosen the phlegm by liquefying it and making it less sticky in the throat and make cough productive. If you experience persistent, excessive mucus and other symptoms such as fever, chills, or difficulty breathing, it is time to see your doctor. Additionally, watch out for unusual mucus colors like pink, red, brown, or black. Pink, red, or brown may signify the presence of blood, while black may mean that you have breathed in increased amounts of black particles, like coal. Dark mucus is also usually associated with heavy smokers. But remember, whatever your phlegm's color might be, don't panic or jump to conclusions. It's best to always consult a doctor who can help determine the underlying condition and prescribe the right treatment as needed. This has been Unilab Health Reminders. Subscribe and hit the notification bell for your healthy dose of care. Only from Unilab. Alagang Unilab.